Hey everybody, day 44 of No Poker Vlog. Uh, 44 days in, still vlogging strong. Um, I am getting more and more uh, email shoutouts and messages on all social media platforms to say congratulations on just continuing to battle on through these vlogs. So we're gonna keep doing it. I'm hoping I can get through every single day. I've not missed a day yet. I promise you I will do my absolute best to continue to do so. So with that being said, Day 44, what do we do today? Today we went to the office, we had to email all of the charities for May and make sure that their licenses were going to be canceled or um, you know, so that they can apply for new dates. Uh, still trying to figure out scheduling, still trying to figure out what's gonna happen. Uh, fell in a little deep on the web on some COVID-19 statistics here in Illinois. Bonus thing, I did find that for the last three days, we did hit the peak, or at least the most um, cases, I think on the 24th, yep, 24th, which was what, four days ago, three days ago, whatever the case may be. However, they did the most tests on that day and we're trending down. So that's like four or three days in a row of trending down, which means theoretically, maybe if we keep trending down, we can end this uh, shelter at home early, get to that phase two and uh, get back to live, uh, live events in general. So that's good, because Lord knows I need to get outside and do some live events. So day 44, what else do we do? Talk to some new charities. Oh, I had my first Zoom um, work meeting. Uh, I Zoomed with a charity down in uh, the south suburbs um, about the possibility of working as soon as we can. So they, wanted, they were very interested in the events and the, the different things that we do and kind of how we can help them traverse the charity poker world in general. So that was fun. So thank you for talking with me today and setting up that Zoom meeting and hopefully they sign up with us um, because we are still getting a lot of charities that are calling, and I say a lot, two or three, um, which isn't a ton, but it's enough to actually wonder what people are thinking, um, you know, that are no longer gonna do events. They either can't get volunteers to come in anymore uh, because people are scared or unsure of what's going on. So that's a little sad because, you know, the first thing that people forget about is, yes, we need to reopen the country. Yes, we need to get things going. Clearly, you guys know my view on that. Um, don't take it political in any ways. I just feel like people need to get some normalcy back in life. But um, I think the thing that people forget about besides business and health issues and things of that nature is all of the charitable organizations that are gonna get less donations and they're gonna get less volunteers and it's gonna make them you know, so much harder for them to be able to do the things that they are already doing and help the people that they help. So a little bit of a PBS moment, a telethon moment. So, you know, hopefully after all this, we all appreciate life a little bit more and what we have and what others don't. And maybe we can volunteer our time a little bit more, even if it's just a charity poker, um, you know, whatever the case may be, we'd be happy to help in any way that we can. Um, what else is going on? Tomorrow is my mom's birthday. So pre-happy birthday to her. She will probably watch this tomorrow, which will be her actual birthday. I'm recording this at about 8.30 at night on Tuesday. Um, but when she sees this on Wednesday, it'll be her birthday. So happy birthday, mom. We will be at her house later. Now we're actually gonna go in, but the wife and I and the kids are gonna do the drive-by um, happy birthday. We'll probably get out and wave to her and hang out and talk over the fence, which is the new norm. So that'll, that'll be a thing. But It'll be fun. So it'll be nice to kind of see her, even if we don't get to get close and see her. But, you know, the kids can say hi, give her her birthday presents and all that kind of good stuff. So that'll be great. Uh, day 45 is tomorrow, Wednesday. It's garbage day for me in case anybody wants to know. But day 45 coming up, which will be the second Michael Jordan day because I'm so pumped up right now on Michael Jordan and the Bulls and the 90s Bulls. I should take that back. I'm so pumped about Jordan and Rodman and Pippen and seeing what else this Last Dance documentary has. It's been incredible. I hope you guys are watching it. Even if you're not a basketball fan, even if you're not a Michael Jordan fan, even if you're not a fan of sports in general, it's just, it's very well done and it's really neat to see kind of how everything plays together and, and each person plays their part and it's really well done. So highly recommended from Ken. Uh, we will also have a new overlay podcast uh, episode out tomorrow. Uh, Brandon goes in depth on bankroll management, variance, and uh, downswings. So that's a good one. Check it out. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit that subscribe button. Um, thanks for the follow. Hit the thumbs up if you like watching these videos and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Day 45. Bye everybody.